to 11 to 8 on. Bat Soup is 100 to 30 from threes. Del Poor, 11 to 2, opened up at 4 to 1. And Leaf Your's Honor is 9 to 1 from 10. Steel Spark, a 16 to 1 chance. And the extreme outsider is Isabella Ra at 33 to 1. All quoted. Good. And, uh, he and Del Poor had entries at uh, Royal Ascot. Isabella Ra was a little bit slowly into her stride. And it's Shellac that's racing into the lead over Steel Spark in second. And then Isabella Ma Ra making ground on the outside of Del Poor back to Batsouf. And the back marker is Glyphia's Honor. As they go at racing pace and quite a good pace past the nine. And it's Shellac leading by a length to Isabella Ra on the outside showing second Steel Spark third. Then Dol Poor in four, followed by Batsu five, and Liffey was on at the back marker. And they continue down the far side, past a mile, and Shellac out in front by three parts of the length. Isabella Ra on the outside of him, back in third, Steel Spark in the yellow with the darker sleeves. Dol Poor showing in four, the gap is a length and a half to Batsu, and a further three to Liffey is on her. And they race down towards the sixth pole, and Shellac next to the rails, pressed on the outside by Isabella Ra, then comes Steel Spark, Dolpour on the outer. He's a track by Batsu from Liffey's Honor, and they come down towards the five. They're past halfway, and it's Shellac next to the rails, with Isabella Ra trying to impress on the outside. Steel Spark next to the rails is third, Dolpour is fourth, and they level up for home, just over four to go. Shellac in the lead, Isabella Ra being uh, ridden along. Dolpour on the left, coming there quite smoothly with three and a half to go. Steel Spark not done with either, getting a good run through next to the rails. Batsoof is cruising in behind, and Shellac suddenly has to be ridden past the three, and Dolpour goes past him, and Shellac under pressure can find no more. But look at Batsoof in behind in the green and red, really cruising, but Dolpour quickens now, but Batsoof has him in his sight. Wouldn't you like to be Padetary on Batsoof? He's got Dolpour and Water Swim Bud in his sight, and he's coming on the right of them, but Steve Gordon on Liffey's honor in the white flow, and he's coming there strongly too. Shellac drops right away. It's Batsoof on the right, looking strong. They're inside the final furlong of a Panetary off Batsu for effort. And he finds it, and he goes on comfortably by a length. And Batsu wins this very cheekily indeed. And at the line, Batsu is the winner, Dolph for a second. Liffy is on a dropped away to be third. Shellac a very disappointing four. Then came Steel Spark and Isabella Ra, who dropped out to be last of all. So another one of Guy Harwood's horses hasn't really come home. The result of this Daniel Penn Royal Yorkshire Stakes. It's a win in very comfortable fashion indeed for number one, Batsuf, owned by Mr. Mutar Salem, trained at uh, Newmarket by Ben Hanbury, ridden by Pat Eddery, his 52nd winner of the season, and a double for Pat here this afternoon. Second is number two, Dol Poor, ridden by Walter Swinburne. Third horse home, number three, is Liffia Zonna. Fourth was number four, Shellac. Fifth was number five, Steel Spark. And sixth was number six, Isabella Ra. So one to six in race card order in this Daniel Bren Royal Yorkshire State. So, Batsuf coming there, and you'll, uh, you're sure you'd like to be in Pat Hedder's uh, shoes as they pass the three furlong pole because the odds on favorite Shellac was showing signs of distress. Dolpour was going well, but equally well behind was Batsuf, and I'm sure Walter Swinburne could have uh, wished for wing mirrors here to see how well Batsuf was going, but he wouldn't have won. What a one. Second number two, Dolpour, 11 to two. And third, number three, Lufio's Honor at 9 to 1. Number four, Shellac was the 11 to 8 on favourite. Tape returns win, £4.50, places 190 and 220. The dual forecast paid out at £9.60 and six round.